<laughs> Welcome to Screen. Has an yes. actor ever had Pleasure. a better role than this role? No, You're this the is third it. lead in this massive international film. Fantastic. It, it is it's absolutely... like winning the lottery, <laughs> at least. But it's so interesting that you go back to the original and now this one. It's a beautiful It arc is. What luck. In your Isn't career. Isn't it, really? But, but I'm interested in the difference between filming Mad Max then, which was notoriously unsafe those days in the Australian oh, film industry. No. <laughs> no. Did you have seatbelts or <laughs> stuntmen or anything? No. We didn't. No. 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 <laughs> I don't think we did the other time. I don't know. No, we did. We were very professional. Oh, and yes. We've always been professional now. <laughs> I know, but there are, there are stories about the original Mad Max yes. and the films that were made in the, in yes. the 70s. Uh, that was a yes. lot of fun. Yes. Uh, but, you know... <laughs> Just be remember. Potentially disastrous. Yes. But now this one, and the, the, the hugeness of this one... Yes. Unbelievable. I can't... Uh, to explain it, what? The scale... Unbelievable. The... Um, what is it, endurance of George Miller, Dr George? Yeah. The endurance of everybody, but the scale is something I've never experienced before. Obviously, in the scenes we watched there, there are dozens of cars, all of which seem to have cameras inserted somewhere, digital yes. cameras inserted yes. somewhere in those cars, taking dozens and dozens of shots. Captain John Seal. <laughs> Oh, the cinematographer the extraordinaire. extraordinaire. Yeah. So he was absolutely blissed out because this was the big digital. And he thought he was going to go out on sprocket, but he's not. And there we go. Well, so, he'd missed out on the, on the digital revolution. He'd always been shooting well, on, on old-fashioned celluloid. That's right, <laughs> on old, yes. That's <laughs> the oh, old thing. Tragedy. Yeah, but, but, it's beautiful. really exciting for him. And as you say, cameras everywhere, everything everywhere, all new technology, the state of the art, George Miller mm. in the centre of a state of the art whirlwind of, you know. So, how did you get shoot. into your character of Immortan Child? <laughs> It was very difficult. I had five of the most beautiful women they could find in the world <laughs> to be my wives. You look amazing! I had this incredibly beautifully trained team of guys who we were just interested in trying to create a, some sort of feeling of togetherness and all of that sort of thing, which was great fun, and that worked really well. They're really bright, quick, looking for, looking for something a bit on the edge. And so we, that, in a sense, came easy because of the people and the costumes. I mean, the stuff that I was given to wear, you're just like... Yeah. Well, I wanted, I would get claustrophobic. In that uh, mask? Yes. yes. Mm. I don't know, I, I, I felt a few times in the cars, which were quite cramped, yeah. and that sort of... I've got a sort of, like, a suit, uh, like, a, like a armour. And that was a bit constricting occasionally and whatever. Yes. But and your, your white hair just flares out behind the white it. hair. And, and in fact, I... like Margaret thought Not. that you tell the story. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were Billy Connolly. That's Billy Connolly. Oh, no, we got to the end of the film. Damn. She said, oh, we're looking no. at the credits. Where's Billy Connolly? <laughs> They've left Billy Connolly off, she said. Well, that's a great compliment. Give <laughs> <laughs> Morton's a decent sort of chap. Yes. He's trying to rebuild society. He's trying to get all the pieces back together again, and, and so he sees himself very much as a, you know, a Renaissance man. Yes. The new chance, the new hope, and the toe cutter felt very similar. Mm -hmm. He's a great protector of the future mm -hmm. and the V8 engine. Yes. And have a go. Yes. Was it exhilarating, <laughs> you know, riding in those yes. cars? I mean, very. was it, it was all shot on the moon? Yes. And Gosh. it was very exciting. <laughs> So how did you drive the thing? I didn't. You didn't sort of... Well, started. I shouldn't say that, but no, I didn't. didn't. So it's a slight to my manhood. <laughs> but there I'm I was, sorry. hanging on to this limp wheel, <laughs> and there's a chap down on that far edge in a pod that's strapped to the side of it, and wow. he's controlling it. Sheesh. And he's about, you know, a foot off the ground sort of thing. Did and, it feel... And I'm here. It felt amazing. And tell me, what, what is George Miller like to work with as a director? I enjoy him. I enjoy him thoroughly. Well, he's so very bright, I there's think. There's an immense... Providing one's comfortable with the fact that he's got it in his head, mm. and I am, because you know he does. Yeah. So relax in that thing. He's a remarkably 
The stamina of the man is mind-boggling. As I say, I'm a lazy man, and yeah. I am, and he's the complete opposite. He's absolutely there all the time, yeah. every day, in and out. 14 years, I gather. Yes, uh, I, it's point, an enormously it's an demanding role, mm. being a director yeah. of something as huge That's as that. Right. Honestly, it's so fabulous that you were able to come in today yeah, and talk about it. It's fabulous to be here. It was really. a blast. I thoroughly yeah, enjoyed it. And we thoroughly ordered... We haven't seen Bobby Connolly, yes. He did a good job, eh? Was good, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, I amazing. thought he was great. Yes. <laughs> Let's end with the blast. All right. Oh, what a day! What a lovely day! Want to get through this? Let's go!